While the economy struggles, unemployment numbers around the country remain historically low. New numbers show that claims fell last week again. Minnesota among the states with the lowest rates, but the fat fact does not ring true for all of our neighbors. Our Mary McGuire joins us live tonight. She's in Minneapolis. So Mary, it sounds like there was a big comeback for an event today that's working to change that. Well, like you said, Amy, we often hear about how Minnesota has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country, but the same is not true for black Minnesotans and the People of Color Career Fair today aimed to address that disparity. I'm out today just trying to find a new career. Jaquita Whittington is turning over a new leaf when it comes to work. I've worked in the field for over 30 years dealing with children and adolescents in the um, foster care and adoption. Recently laid off from her job as a mental health advocate, she's looking for an employer who can bring out her best. Someone who's enthusiastic and can um, motivate me to do the best that I can be as a therapist or um, an advocate. Whittington is one of hundreds making their next career move at the People of Color Career Fair, created to address racial disparities when it comes to employment in our state. Minnesota's overall unemployment rate clocks in at less than 2%, but the same is not true for black Minnesotans. So if you've got a black unemployment rate of 6% and you had a labor workforce shortage, What's the problem? We've got to get people in the room connecting, building those relationships and saying hello. For the first time since the pandemic, the event is back in person at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Founder Sharon Smith Akinsanya says those face to face interactions are crucial when it comes to making a connection with a potential employer. So I put people in the room, great resumes, great fits for the culture they get hired. Attendees were able to meet with hiring managers and conduct interviews on the spot, potentially walking out the door with a new job. The employers in the room all handpicked by Smith Akinsanya, who believes in doing things differently to increase diversity at every level in the workplace. It's about proximity. See, if we don't get in the room with people that don't look like us, we're not going to make any change in Minnesota. Now, a similar event is planned for April. We are told that dozens of employers are already signed up to participate. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. All right, Mary, thank you. Minnesota among.